Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do a detailed review of the latest smartphone from OnePlus in India, the OnePlus 8T. So OnePlus 8T was launched last week for a price starting 42 to plan. That's 43,000 for the 8 gigabyte RAM variant, and this is the successor of the OnePlus 8 launched a few months back globally now the t variant obviously comes with upgrades so what are the upgrades when compared to the one plus eight should you get the one plus eight or the one plus eight so we'll cover all those things in this detailed review so if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's get started with the detailed aspects so first let's have a look at the design and build quality now, if you look at the design aspect of the OnePlus 8T, uh, if you look at the back panel specifically, you can see that the camera layout has been moved to the uh, left side. Now, it also is a kind of a rectangular layout compared to the vertical layout which uh, OnePlus had for a lot of smartphones. Now, this layout actually uh, resembles the Samsung's S20 series uh, uh, layout. But again, uh, this is nothing uh, completely different, but again, it looks quite good. Now, the camera uh, placement, the LED flash and the sensors are placed pretty neatly and it looks actually pretty good. Now, you also get the OnePlus logo at the back and the OnePlus branding. Now, the edges are curved to give it a good feel altogether now if you look at the front panel design here you can see that uh, there are differences when compared to the one plus eight now you don't get a curved uh, display on either side it's a flat display that has advantages as well as disadvantages we'll talk about that when we talk about the display now it also comes with a punch hole camera and uh, uh, the bezels are completely minimal and uh, looks overall good now in in, uh, in terms of design aspect we feel this is definitely a good looking smartphone again those are personal choices whether you like the one plus eight uh, uh, design or the one plus 80 we personally like the 80 design but again uh, more of a personal choice now when it comes to build quality now one plus has always employed great materials uh, when it comes to build quality now here also you get a glass finishing on the front and the back and this is sandwiched between a aluminium chassis which actually feels uh, really strong you can uh, feel the device is pretty strong and sturdy and the build quality is really good for a flagship smartphone now there is gorilla glass protection on the front as well as the back panel so you are fairly protected in terms of minor falls but again if uh, you uh, if the device slips out of your hand on concrete or any harder surface there are chances of breakage so that's the design and build quality so overall we feel oneplus has done a quite good job in terms of design the build quality as usual looks really good and uh, uh, looks premium for the price segment it is being offered now next let's move on to the display so this is where the first major change happens now with the one plus eight we came to see uh, the 90 hertz refresh rate along with uh, the fluid emulator display now with uh, the one plus 80 uh, one plus is offering 120 hertz refresh rate to the display now it's again a fluid emulator display again uh, this is 120 hertz refresh rate so so you get the option to either change uh, from 60 hertz or to 120 hertz now uh, we already used to 90 hertz refresh rate now 90 to 120 doesn't feel a major difference although you do feel uh, here and there but uh, it's not considerably high that uh, you feel that from 90 to 120 makes it a big impact but if you are moving from a 60 hertz refresh rate then obviously the 120 hertz refresh rate gives uh, a completely different feel uh, when using the device now the display is uh, one of the best out there fluid emulator is a uh, one of the really good uh, features of the oneplus device uh, the display quality looks really good the colors are great the, uh, the viewing angles are excellent and the touch response as usual looks pretty smooth overall now the experience with the display is really good on the oneplus 80. now both uh, the display as well as the back panel as i said before is covered with Corning Gorilla Glass. Now another important change with respect to display as I said before is that OnePlus 8T does not have a curved display. Now if you look at the OnePlus 8, uh, we have a curved display on either edges. Now uh, there are advantages and disadvantages for the curved display. Now uh, I am primarily using OnePlus 8 Pro as my uh, phone. So when I use the OnePlus 8 Pro with a curved display, I do have a lot of accidental touches happening especially with WhatsApp. Uh, I do feel that there are lots of accidental touches happening again that depends upon person to person now with the one plus 80 what i felt was the flat display was more productive for me than the curved display of the one plus eight now uh, why curved display the curved display obviously gives a, a premium looking uh, experience to uh, the device but then usability wise i personally feel flat displays so that's one uh, difference with the eight and eighty 
Now next, let's move on to the software. Now software has been one of the strong points of OnePlus devices. Now OnePlus uh, Oxygen OS has been one of the best UI implementations on Android. Uh, so he, here also you get the latest version of uh, Android. You get uh, the Android 11. This is probably the first smartphone coming with Android 11 out of the box from OnePlus. Although OnePlus 8 Pro and 8 uh, did get uh, Android 11. Now out of the box, you get Android 11 and Oxygen OS uh, 11. Now, Oxygen OS 11 has been redesigned and uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, discussions that this uh, resembles the One UI uh, uh, from Samsung. Although there are resemblances, but we still feel OnePlus uh, did a pretty good job in terms of UI experience. The smoothness has been retained and it's one of the smoothest UI out there and it feels very smooth. No lags whatsoever, even in terms of memory management, it looks great. And uh, with uh, the new UI, uh, there are a lot of customization options included and uh, it feels really nice to use the OnePlus Oxygen OS. So software is one of the strong points of the OnePlus 80. Now next let's move on to the performance side. Now performance wise this is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Octa-Core processor. We expected uh, OnePlus to bring the 865 plus but 865 is the one which is powering this and uh, this is uh, coupled with either 8GB RAM or 12GB RAM and this has uh, 128 or 256GB internal storage. Now there is no SD card support as usual with any OnePlus device. Now uh, this is LPDDR4X RAM, it's not LPDDR5 like uh, the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now you get UFS 3.1 uh, support. Now in terms of day-to-day -day experience, this is one of the smoothest device out there. Excellent performance in terms of day-to-day -day experience, no lags whatsoever. And you actually feel the smoothness of the UI. It's very, very smooth UI. Now uh, when it comes to gaming, again, uh, OnePlus uh, 80 is a gamer's uh, delight. Excellent, excellent performance in terms of gaming. Uh, the frames were really good, the graphic quality is good uh, and we tried uh, gaming with the OnePlus 80. We have done a detailed gaming video. You can check out that video. Uh, the gaming experience was really good on the OnePlus 80. Now day to day performance again was superb on the OnePlus 80. Now call quality as usual OnePlus devices are known for good call quality. Here also you don't see any sort of issues. We tried with a Geo as well as IDEA network and it was very uh, uh, good in terms of network coverage and uh, it's both supports uh, and uh, there is voice over Wi-Fi and VoLTE is supported. Now talking about the speakers, now this comes with dual stereo speakers uh, and the speaker output is pretty loud and the sound quality also looks good. Now we have done a detailed FAQ where we have showed the sound output, you can check out that video to see the sample output. Now the stereo speakers are really good if you are a person who listens to songs using the default speaker, again you get pretty good experience and there is also Dolby support available. So overall the speaker quality is again good. Now next uh, let's move on to the fingerprint scanner and face unlock. Now the fingerprint scanner as usual is one of the fastest out there uh, and you can do a bit of customization with the animations of the fingerprint scanner. Similarly face unlock also works really well. So here is a quick demo and you can see that uh, both works really fast. Now next let's move on to the cameras. So we have an upgrade in terms of camera. Uh, the primary sensor although remains the same, uh, you get uh, the uh, 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor f1.7 aperture and then you get a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens a 5 megapixel macro sensor which is an upgraded sensor and 2 megapixel mono sensor you also get a 16 megapixel uh, punch hole selfie camera which is another uh, uh, selfie camera included on this device so that's the camera uh, hardware of the oneplus 80. now looking at the camera sample so we have done a detailed camera review of this device we found that the camera to be definitely improved over the OnePlus 8. Now when we reviewed the OnePlus 8, we mentioned that uh, cameras are one of the weakest aspect of the OnePlus 8. And uh, with OnePlus 80, things have changed but not drastically. They have improved the daylight conditions, uh, the photos looks pretty good, the dynamic range is quite acceptable, the sharpness levels are good. Uh, then uh, the close-up images also looks good. The ultra-wide angle uh, cameras have improved, the video recording again has improved. Now the macros is one area where uh, it has uh, shown a really good improvement, especially with uh, the color reproduction which is now more or less uh, similar. But then with OnePlus 8, the colors were kind of washed out, that has been improved. Now uh, the low light experience was uh, not really that great, although it was above average quality we feel for a flagship device, it should have been a better overall uh, low light experience on the OnePlus 80. Now the portraits also looks kind of average at times. Now selfie camera was quite okay and uh, did a quite good job overall. So if you look at the camera as a whole, we feel uh, 
it's kind of uh, upgraded when compared to the OnePlus 8. But as a flagship smartphone in the 50 to 40 to 50K price segment, we feel OnePlus has to do a bit more job in terms of camera performance. Now, OnePlus is one brand which has not really improved on their camera except for the OnePlus 8 Pro. The cameras have been kind of uh, above average kind of stuff and uh, this also is uh, kind of above average stuff which is improved over the OnePlus 8 but not exactly a flagship level uh, experience. Now next uh, is the battery life. So this is one area where there is again a massive upgrade. Now you get a 65 watt uh, charger. It's the uh, warp uh, 65 watt charger which charges the device in around 40 minutes. 39 minutes is what company claims. We got around uh, 41 minutes which is again good. Now 40-45 minutes it should be like 0 to 100 percentage which is again good. It has a 4500 mAh capacity battery and the battery performance is quite good. We could get around 6 to 6 and a half hours of screen on time which we feel for a flagship device is quite good again uh, it depends upon person to person the apps we are using might not be the ones you use so it again depends in our use case it was like six hours or six to six and a half hours was the screen on time so again battery life is pretty good on this device even though it may not be stellar performance for a flagship level this is quite good so that is a detailed review of the one plus eight so how good is the OnePlus 8 Should you buy it? That's the question. Now, uh, I'll break it down into different aspects. Now, if you are a OnePlus 70 user, if you are already using OnePlus 70, then the OnePlus 80 is definitely an upgrade because it's all almost like one year old device. Now you get uh, better uh, overall aspects like the 120Hz refresh rate, the warp charging, the new uh, cameras experience, then uh, overall uh, the uh, design and everything has changed and it's a good upgrade over the OnePlus 70 because it's almost a year old now. Now if you are using a OnePlus 8, uh, we feel this is not a, uh, definitely an upgrade uh, you should be going for because OnePlus 8 and 80, uh, not much of upgrade even though there are battery and the uh, uh, screen refresh rate changes are there, but they are not considerably higher to changed a six month old device and get an 80. So we feel if you are already an 8 user, you should be sticking with the 8 itself and you probably you can upgrade to 9 later or rather next year. Now if you are going to buy a new smartphone uh, from OnePlus, whether you should go with the OnePlus 8 or the 80, that's another question many have asked us. Now in this case, if you are not using 8 or 80, uh, we would suggest you to buy the 80 because 8 and 80 there is uh, uh, almost like a 3 or 4 4k difference but still we feel 80 is a better choice because you get 120 hz refresh rate then better battery life better charging technology and uh, slightly better camera upgrades uh, uh, for almost like a 3 or 4k addition so we feel you should be going with the oneplus 80. So that is a detailed review of the OnePlus 80. Now OnePlus 80 is a good uh, device in at uh, 42 triple nine. If you're looking for a good flagship experience, except for the camera, uh, the OnePlus 80 uh, manages to uh, be a good device overall. The cameras can be improved uh, with software updates. We feel uh, OnePlus should be doing that. Uh, other than that, we feel the OnePlus 80 is a solid device at 42 triple nine. So that's a detailed review of the OnePlus 80. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.